Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. It is Wednesday, November 17th. I'm Sean Coffey. Logan joins us now with a check of the forecast. Good morning, Logan. Hey, good morning, Sean. Happy Wednesday, everyone. A cold start this morning as we had temperatures in the 20s and 30s, but a little bit warmer as we go throughout today. We'll see our highs reaching back into the upper 40s, lower 50s. A little bit more cloud cover than sun as we go throughout your Wednesday. Now, tonight, though, is at least quiet with a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Not quite as cold, though. We'll see our lows tonight falling back into the lower and mid 40s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast as we go into Thursday. We have our next cold front arriving, but at ahead of it, though, a little bit warmer. Temperatures upper 50s and lower 60s. We'll look for some rain to develop as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. Turning a lot colder as we go into Friday, though, behind that front, a little bit windy. Temperatures lower in mid 40s with a few flurries and snow showers. And then, Sean, as we go into this weekend, starting off nice and sunny as we go into Saturday, a little bit more cloud cover as we go into Sunday. All right, Logan, thank you. The Scranton School District and Teachers Union will return to the negotiating table today in an effort to end the strike. Yesterday, Eyewitness News caught up with teachers on the picket line for the ninth day of the strike. The district says the Scranton Federation of Teachers proposal, which was submitted late Sunday, has been analyzed and the district is prepared to respond. Teachers must return to the classroom by November 30th. The state requires students to receive 180 days of instruction by June 30th. The first school board nice. meeting since a hazing incident caused concerns in the Tamaqua Area School District was held Tuesday. Several football players were suspended, and now an 11th grade student has been expelled. Last night, parents spoke publicly for the first time to the Tamaqua Area School Board. The main concern among parents and residents is how it happened in the first place and how the district will prevent it from happening again. School Board President Larry Wittig said both the school board and the police are continuing their investigation. That does it for now. More eyewitness news and weather on air and online throughout the day. But for the very latest, head to our website, pahomepage.com. Thank you.